Okay, here we go with part three of uh, chart styles, changing the chart location. So I want to change the location. Uh, so we could either click on the chart, not like that, like this, and press delete, which would delete the chart, which would be like this. There, see, now a cell is selected. Now the chart selected, I could simply just delete it like that. I'm having a, I have technical gremlins in my computer right now. I'm caught in a technical limbo, I guess. But hold on a second. Well, it'll work. Delete. Delete. There we go. But I don't want to delete the chart. But that's how you can do it. If you wanted to delete the chart, you could simply select the chart and then press delete. What we want to do is change the chart location. So we're going over to our chart tools. We're going to use the design tab. And then I'm going to use move chart. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select move chart, choose where you want the chart to be placed, and I'm going to select new sheet, and I'm going to click OK. And there we go. The column chart is now an object displayed in a separate chart sheet. Generally, you display a chart in a chart sheet when you want the chart displayed separately from the associated worksheet data. The chart is still automatically linked to the worksheet data from which it was created. The new chart sheet, named Chart 1, as you can see right here, was inserted to the left of the worksheet 1. The chart sheet is the active sheet, or the sheet in which you are currently working. Okay, so now I'm going to move off of our chart sheet and go to our sheet one. Now we are going to create a multiple data series chart. So we're going to create a second chart. We could create a separate chart for each category and then compare the charts. However, to make the comparisons between the categories easier, we will display all the categories on a single chart. So we've moved back to our chart one and we're going to select A9 through D14. So A9 through D14. I'm going to go to Insert, Column, and now we're going to use the Cluster 3D Column. So now we have a three dimensional column chart drawn showing the monthly sales for each category. A different column color identifies each data series, and the legend identifies the categories. When plotting the data for this chart, Excel plotted the three months as the data series because the date range has fewer columns than the rows. This time, however, you want to change the data series so that the months are along the x-axis. Which one's the x-axis? Right, this one. So we don't have much time, but to do this very simply, we're going to click the switch row column button in the data groups of the chart tools design tab, which is right here. We can simply go like that, like that, but we want it there. We want the months on the X axis. Remember X and Y. And then over here, now instead of having our months over here, in the table, we now have. I'm sorry, in the legend, we now have our espresso, drip coffee, food, beverage, merchandise, and computer. So this is Charles Piscopo signing off, and I'll see you in class.